Hello, Internet. I recently attended a debate that was run by a group formerly known as Intelligence Squared US that's now known as Open to Debate. And it was between Elon Leifi and Mehdi Hassan on the topic of were Israel's actions in the Gaza war justified? The debate was a bit of a shit show, and I wanted to go over what I thought went, uh, went wrong. Now first, what, what do I mean when I say that it was a shit show? There was incivility all the way through from the very beginning to the end. The uh, debaters were talking over each other constantly. There was a misbehaving audience, there were, and there was little to no engagement on points. And to a lesser extent, debaters hijacked questions and turned them towards talking points. So what went wrong breaks down uh, to a few uh, parts. And these are just going to be summaries. I'll be going into them in a little bit more detail later after I list them. Firstly, the debate presumably didn't secure enough agreement from the debaters on how they would behave during the debate. Secondly, not enough instruction was given to the audience on how to behave, what's expected of them, what a good question is, and so on. And the audience uh, misbehaved badly throughout, the, uh, throughout most of the debate. Third, the audience was placed in the room in a way that made it more likely that they would misbehave. Fourth, the level of moderation of the debate was not sufficient. And fifth, the debaters chose to and were permitted to address each other's behavior and job, uh, jobs outside the debate as if it offered great value to the debate. And they used this, as well as a lot of their other content, to build uh, credit with their communities rather than advancing the debate. Now let's work through these uh, points with a little bit more detail. It's hard to go into the first point because it's, there's very little information that we'll ever have from the outside on what they were asked to promise. It's possible that they got many good promises from, uh, from Elon and Smady as to how they would behave and, that, and maybe they just broke all those promises. It's also possible that they didn't get uh, many promises at all. But ideally, people entering a debate agree beforehand to try not to be personal, to try not to talk over each other, to try to be constructive, and otherwise to try to be good debaters. And we did not see that uh, behavior from them. Uh, and I think we can presume that, uh, that the promises either were insufficient or ideally that, uh, that this record that they established as part of this debate will be remembered and uh, they, they should be considered to have a black mark uh, on them for whether they'll be invited to things in the future. I note that Elon Levy was significantly worse behaved than Mehdi Hassan, but both of them were pretty badly behaved during this debate. On the second point, <clears throat> The, the audience was not given enough instruction on how to behave, what's expected of them, what, what a good question is, etc. This is a little bit understandable because there was a, a lot of extra security for the event, uh, which led, it, led the start to be delayed. It was very significantly delayed. They had to apologize a few times for it starting late. And so they went through a lot of the starting blurbs in a rush. But this was a mistake. Um, I think, if anything, this audience needed significantly more of that stuff than, uh, than an ordinary audience for an ordinary debate topic. It was visible from who showed up that there were a lot of activists on both sides. You could see it on people's faces. You could see that the, um, the pro-Israel side was uh, significantly observant and, uh, and they looked like they were there for a fight. You could see from the pro-Palestinian side that a sig significant number of them were uh, observant and devout and that they were looking for some kind of a met uh, metaphysical, hopefully not a physical win. Um, but it was visible that there were a lot of unpleasant activists on both sides uh, and that a whole lot of people who ordinarily don't go to debates and probably who don't believe in debates were there. And when you have an audience like that, you really have to instruct them to even have a hope of making it through without the audience misbehaving. And this didn't work. The audience uh, probably starting uh, a little bit less than halfway through began to feel increasingly free to just shout out uh, and to drown out arguments they didn't like, to offer retorts, to offer mockery. 
Um, I turned around and stared several times at people who did this, um, but it clearly was happening, and it was not happening just on one side by any means. Both sides were very ill-behaved. On the third point, um, with regards to the way the audience was placed, this was an easily correctable uh, mistake, but uh, somebody, who, uh, I don't know if, if the ushers belonged to open to debate or if they belonged to the venue or somewhere else, but they asked people more or less where they stood on, on the debate matters and they shuffled them to a side of the room matching the speaker for that side. And this is a really bad idea if you understand human psychology. We depend a lot on the approval and disapproval of people around us in order to be well behaved. If you have somebody who will scold people for, uh, for misbehaving, if you have enough people like that, then misbehaviors, they'll at least not feel like they're being rewarded for misbehavior. But when you see, sit people together who have very similar views, uh, then this effect diminishes. In fact, they, they often feel that they're going to get some approval from the people directly around them if they misbehave. And so the, the incentives are all wrong. And so th this, this degree of, comf uh, of concentration emphasizes division and it, it, it pushes people to misbehave in order to build cred with their community. I happened to, uh, because uh, when the ushers asked me, I said I'm in a, it's complicated camp. They didn't really give me any direction on where to sit. And I started to sit in the middle, but I had trouble finding seats and I ended up uh, eventually being uh, kind of shuffled off to the side, sitting with the uh, hardcore pro-Israel camp. And I, I was somewhat uh, amused that ha uh, how irritated some of them were uh, to have somebody near them clapping for any of Mady's points, um, because I definitely saw daggers in their eyes for, uh, for some of these things. Uh, but I, I also just turned around and stared at people when they shouted out. Um, but yeah, the, the seating, this arrangement doesn't work for a debate on a heated topic. It, they should never do that again. And it's a very easy thing to make sure they never do again. Uh, but, uh, and on this topic also, the venue staff should have been more willing to remove people who misbehaved. They only removed uh, one person to my recollection. There was another person who they looked like they warned. I'm not sure if that person got ejected later. But they should have removed at least a dozen people because there were a lot of interruptions from the audience during the debate. And it, again, it was from both sides. There was really wasn't a side that was uh, that was well behaved with the other being ill behaved. The audience uh, was lousy on both sides. Now on to the fourth point, the level of moderation was not sufficient. I didn't expect this because Intelligence Squared has managed contentious debates in the past. And typically the moderator stepped in and kept control successfully before. A good debate is more than just allotting time to people to say whatever they want. It requires holding people to answering questions, breaking talking points, clarifying things from one side if need be. Uh, debaters, uh, moderators should be very active in a debate. And I, I know that this is unfortunately not the style for our, our big, uh, like American political debates stuff, but it needs to be because our, our, our presidential debates are awful. A lot of our other political debates are awful and it's because people are afraid to actually have a decent moderator. You need to have good moderation to have a good debate. And so I, I was really just surprised to see uh, it, like really, really insufficient moderation uh, for this thing. So about halfway through the debate, it was evident that control was being lost and control was never regained. Uh, particularly egregious was allowing the debaters to closely approach the other. And by debaters here, I really mean Elon Levy. He, uh, I think twice, um, really got in um, Mehdi Hassan's face. He did it uh, very early on, it was highly inappropriate. You, sh you should never be allowed to do that. Um, during a debate, um, and it, it was just a mess. Uh, they were talking over each other constantly as well. And when that happens, you have to mute. Uh, you have to start muting mics. Uh, really, probably starting about a third of the way through the debate, none of them got an answer without the other starting to talk over them. Now, 
I, I think also it just the, the moderator should have said you have to remain at your podium or at most you can take center stage uh, when, when you're invited to. But actually approaching the other debater's podium is inappropriate, needs to be stopped. Uh, Elon Levy should have been warned very sternly that you don't do that when he did that very early on in the debate. And on to that fifth point, it's actually kind of complicated. Uh, I, I know that I seem to take a firm uh, stance against uh, dressing each other's jobs and roles outside the debate. This is actually not quite so clear because there are times when you can do it in certain ways that it doesn't become a distraction from uh, the main point. If you want to talk about credibility, then you have to be willing to dip a little bit into the jobs people have had, but you don't want to allow it uh, allow the debate to become primarily about the people in the debate. And that's what happened here. Um, Elon Levy, in his opening statement, accused Mehdi Hassan of being essentially part of Hamas's PR strategy. And uh, in turn, eventually, um, uh, uh, Hassan ended up, accuse, uh, ended up noting uh, that Levy was doing PR for the Israeli government and that you shouldn't trust any, anything he says uh, because he's enabling genocide, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so really both of them, uh, from very, very early on in the debate, established that they have no respect for each other as people. They're not partners in a debate. They're literally enemies. And that is not a solid foundation for any kind of a conversation. Once you do that, you're never going to be talking about points. You're never going to be doing the kind of intellectual sparring that a, that a debate should be. Instead, you're just trying to demonize the other person, and that really is what happened here. And moderators probably could have, uh, or good moderation could have potentially intervened, but it's really hard when opening statements do uh, involve this. Um, and uh, I, I think, again, perhaps the right thing to do was to stop right after both opening statements, uh, put a firm break on that kind of behavior and make it clear that the debate will end right here, right now, if, if you cannot stop doing that. Uh, because it's better to end a debate that's becoming a fiasco than to continue it. Um, but that didn't happen. I, I should note that even though I, I think most of, the, most of the fault for this debate comes from Elon Levy and Mehdi Hassan, and they, they shouldn't be invited to debates or speaking engagements, uh, particularly Elon Levy, who was significantly worse behaved, as noted by the um, Open to Debates uh, moderator. But really, I, I, I would consider this a pretty severe black mark on either of them. But there was also a reporter there uh, who I, I was angry at because he, he was one of the people who uh, asked a question and he tried to ask a question on Hassan that was essentially a personal attack veiled as a question. Uh, and it was uh, asking him to disprove that his recent startup was funded by uh, Qatar. Uh, and the, the moderator uh, thankfully declined the question, but then the guy shouted out, who are you to tell me what kind of questions I ask? And that guy just doesn't get that debates are structured conversations. They are not, uh, they're not there where you're just allotted time and you can say whatever you want. They're not on whatever people choose to talk about. They are attempting to be about a proposition. And his question really wasn't uh, related to the preposition. It was just a personal attack on Mehdi Hassan. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I wouldn't invite that guy either to any future debates, uh, both because he doesn't. Uh, he didn't understand the the purpose of the, of the debate. But secondly, because he uh, chose to disrespect the structure of a debate by uh, shouting out his outrage to the audience that he wasn't asked, allowed to ask an irrelevant question. Uh, well, I mean, he he actually asked it. It's just it wasn't going to be answered, and it was rejected as a question. Uh, but yes, it, it, the debate was a shit show. Um, and I, I haven't lost faith in open to debate slash IQ2 US because a lot of these things are correctable. It was uh, admittedly probably one of the most predictably difficult topics that they would, uh, that they've uh, done or would do. Not necessarily, I mean, you might be able to find some other even more heated topics, but you'd really have to work at it. This is pretty high up there in terms of uh, controversy and anger and all that. Uh, I mean, you're covering a, a war 
during the war, uh, where uh, it's part of a, a very, very long um, conflict where both sides have demonized each other quite thoroughly, and uh, there's a lot of pressure generally to take one side or the other, and a lot of with us or against us mentality, which makes it really hard to have a good discussion. But the point of debates is to try and make that discussion happen anyhow, insisting on structure, insisting on civility, etc. But uh, again, they've, they've done debates well in the past. They can fix this. Uh, Elon Levy, and to a lesser extent, Mehdi Hassan, they totally screwed up. And uh, I, I would not consider them appropriate people to invite to events again because they acted in an uncivilized way. Uh, they, they, it was such a major screw up. Anyhow, those are my thoughts on the debate. It will probably be coming out in a few days uh, from Open to Debate, so you can watch it and see if they manage to edit it into anything that's listenable. Although if I remember correctly, the event staff even noted partway through that the audience's use of clapping as a weapon, uh, figuratively speaking, of course, uh, but uh, to drown out points that they didn't like by refusing to let people start to answer for a ridiculously long period of time, made it actually hard for them to get good sound for the, uh, for the event. I'm not sure if anything can be saved through editing of this debate, but even if they can clean up the words and uh, and make it uh, make it so that you only hear the um, you only hear Hassan and and Levy, I'm not sure if you're really going to get very much out of it anyhow. I mean, it was really a highly non-productive debate, and uh, the debate organizers were clearly frustrated as well. They just didn't do anything about it, which they should have. But yeah, most of the fault of this comes from, uh, most of the fault of this goes to Elon Leifi and Mehdi Hassan. It was, a, uh, it was a shit show. It was their fault. Anyhow, those are my thoughts. If you have any comments on it, and again, this is not meant to be a, uh, a video on the topic of the debate itself. It's not meant to be my expressing uh, opinions on, um, on Israel, Palestine, the war, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've expressed views on that in the past, um, in other places, uh, in other forums. I'm not shy of my opinions there, but they're not really relevant here. This is about uh, how a debate went. This is not about the topic of the debate. Um, it's fine to have opinions on the topic of the debate, but if you really want to talk about that, poke me and I'll maybe do another video or point you to another video if I can find one. Uh, on the topic that I did, because I, I might have done videos on this in the past. I, I'm sure I've at least done essays. But um, but yeah, the, the debate was a mess. I don't know if it, uh, what the video or audio will look like when it's released. I'm pretty confident that anybody listening to it will not find it useful at all, uh, unless you can get into like the f football uh, watching mentality and be like, ooh -hoo, my team, they were rude and I love that because uh, it's great to be rude to people you hate or something like that, but I, I don't think that's right for a debate. Anyhow, uh, happy to read any comments. I might reply to some of them. Bye-bye.